Now I noticed, the first thing I noticed looking at the new generation panel is it's just a physically much larger panel. So in that instance, this panel literally pays itself off instantly because so that instead of turning it on or off, we can just turn it down a little. So you've got throttle control. Exactly. Basically. Okay. Can you tell us a little bit more, how has the integration between Tesla and Span changed with the, the release of the new Powerwall 3? The smarter way to go solar. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and today we're coming to you from RE Plus, the International Solar Conference here in Anaheim, California. And this morning I'm joined by Hans von Klemm, head of hardware product at SPAN. We're looking at the new SPAN smart panel. So Hans, uh, it's good to, to meet with you. Thanks yeah. for taking time. Thank you so much. Excellent. All right, so I noticed there is a new, new what looks like much larger SPAN smart panel, as well as I see some other products here, Tesla Powerwall, Mitsubishi Mini Split, as well as the SPAN Drive EV charger. Uh, but before we dig into all of that, for those that aren't familiar with smart panels, can you tell our audience what is a smart panel and, and when would somebody want to install one in their house? Yeah, absolutely. So a smart panel is basically like a standard panel. It actually installs the same way as any conventional electrical panel, but behind each of the circuit breakers, right, conventional off-the-shelf circuit breakers, we have both a relay and a current transformer. So the ability to actually measure power and control it. And this is really important for all sorts of reasons, right? We can actually use this information to deliver insights to customers. So we can show you, oh, this is how much power you're consuming in this sector of the home. We can then overlay the utility pricing during that time period and explain to customers what amount of money they're spending at different points of the day on different appliances. And they can use all this information to actually reduce their, their energy consumption and their, their utility bills. On top of that, right, we can allow unprecedented amounts of control because the panel, right, is, a, is basically a, a controllable device that you can actuate relays with your phone. So you can log in, you can, you know, if you're out of town and you need to shut a, turn off a circuit or whatever, you know, you can just do that remotely and make your home super efficient and safe. Cool, cool. Yeah, I know when I think about it, you know, the, the two words that come to mind are visibility and control, right? The, the, the sensors gives you visibility, the relays give you that control. You can turn it on and off or you can, the software can turn it on and off for you. Now, I noticed, the first thing I noticed looking at the new generation panel is it's just a physically much larger panel. Now, I think the, the old panel was limited to 32 breakers, is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. And so what you see here, it's actually an expansion of the product line. So okay. we still will have that 32 breaker space panel right in the middle. But we've actually grown up all the way up to 48 on the high end and down all the way to 16. So okay. we're really basically, we, we've recognized that everybody's home is unique. You know, some homes require multiple smaller panels depending on geography. Some require one large panel. You know, a new build is typically going to be one big 48 circuit load center, for example. And so we need to have a product to match each of these categories, which is why they now span from 16 all the way to 48. Well, I'm glad to see the larger size because one, one of the things I've noticed, you know, covering this technology now for a number of years is a, a lot of the early adopters of this technology have larger homes, right? Absolutely. And, and so they, they need, in many cases, they need larger load centers. They've got pools. They've got, you know, uh, multiple air conditioning units and they just need more space. Yep. So the, the 48 space version of the Span Smart Panel, is that something that's available now or coming soon? So that'll be available in the first half of next year. Okay. Um, looking, trending towards the earlier end of that first half. But, you know, st still working out the details there. And this smaller panel will be available towards the second half of next year. So, great. soon. <laughs> great, great. Now, we talked about, you know, or you mentioned a couple of reasons why, you know, why a homeowner might want to go with a smart panel. You know, one is visibility, but also being able to save money. You know, especially like in California, where we're recording right now, you could have pretty significant differences in terms of your time of use rates you know, your on-peak hours versus your off-peak hours. Absolutely. So walk us through some of the use cases where you might use that, uh, you know, use that feature to help save money. How can you use Span to help you save money with your existing home? Yeah, sweet. So I think one of the big ways you can do it, right, there's all sorts of ways you can leverage a Span panel to save money. And maybe I'll just start at the top. So one amazing thing Span can do is if you're a customer looking to electrify your home, you're looking to add any electric loads, typically for most homes, they're gonna, see, they're gonna reach what's called the service upgrade requirement. So they're actually gonna have to go to the utility and get the conductors feeding their home, the, the capacity of the conductors feeding their home to get increased by the utility. This might cost several thousand dollars, you know, up to $50,000 we've seen certain quotes in, in certain areas. And 
it might take six months, right? Depending on getting the utility involved, permitting, and all this other stuff. So what this panel can do, because it can actually turn on and off loads on a homeowner's behalf, right? Is it can keep the home below its service, even if you've added more electric load than a conventional load calc would allow. So does that make, does that make sense? Sure. So in that instance, this panel literally pays itself off instantly because the alternative, which is going out, getting a service upgrade, running new wires into your home, it might, it might cost you know several thousand dollars and putting this panel in negates that entire need. Makes a lot of sense. And then to your question about being able to see individual loads and, and actually reduce costs like that, right? Obviously, time of use rates are becoming more and more prevalent. And, you know, in, in California, as an example, there's a, like a 50 cent difference between the electricity prices at 10 a.m. and at 7 p.m., right? And that's 50 cents. So any insights you can have in terms of, you know, what loads can I move to the other time? What loads can I just simply turn off? during those two different time periods is going to be direct savings in your bank. And, and we can actually show them that incredibly specifically. And yeah. Just a quick word from our sponsor, Generac. If you're looking for an all-in-one solar and energy management system, then you need to take a look at the new Generac PowerCell 2. PowerCell 2 gives you total control of your home's energy system, incorporating solar power, whole house backup, intelligent load control, and generator support seamlessly integrated on a single platform. PowerCell 2 uses an AC coupled architecture to facilitate ease of installation for new systems and retrofitting battery storage to existing solar homes. So if you'd like to learn more information, then go to the PowerCell website or click the link in the description below so you can get in touch with an installer right away. Yeah, yeah. Well, speaking of loads, you know, one of the largest loads that a lot of homeowners have here in Southern California is their electric vehicle charging. So I noticed you have the span drive here how does that tie in with, this, with the, the system and how, how might that work in a time of use configuration? Yeah, so the span drive is really, really cool. So um, we can do all sorts of things because we've actually made our own hardware, right? We own all the hardware and we own all the software that lives on these panels, which gives us tons and tons of flexibility to enable the, the, these two products to work together. And this can do a few, few special things. One is we can set the power consumption or the, the charging rate dynamically. So we can actually tell this, this charger to charge at 100% or 90% or 80% or whatever, right? And what that enables is a couple things. One is you can, you can obviously set schedules and make sure that you're mapping your time of use rate depending on um, when you want to charge your car so that it's always the cheapest price, right? Another thing, say you have a solar panel, like a solar array on your roof. We'll actually be releasing very soon a software update which will allow the car to exclusively charge with excess solar that's coming into your home, right? So we know all the power that, we know about all the power that you're ex consuming from the grid. If you have solar, we know how much solar you're generating. We can actually calculate, okay, how much headroom is there on the solar generation? And we can just pump all of that directly into the car, which means you're almost just operating like a little microgrid, right? You don't right. even need to send anything to your grid. You don't need to consume anything from the grid and that keeps your prices super low. And then the third thing, so earlier I mentioned the uh, service upgrade avoidance, which is where we will potentially turn on and off loads right. to keep your home within its service, right? Yeah. And we don't have to turn on or off this particular load, right? We're actually gonna be announcing a whole suite of products that well, we won't necessarily be making them all, but a lot of them through partnerships that we can dynamically set the power consumption of the device so that instead of turning it on or off, we can just turn it down a little. So you've got throttle control. Exactly. Basically, okay. It's throttle and control, exactly. So that works on the drive, that works with the Mitsubishi heat pump. So we can actually talk directly to the compressor, say, hey, you know, the home's consuming a little too much power, let's turn it back 20, 30, 40%. Homeowner will not experience a thing because it's a very minor change for a short period of time and then we can ramp it right back up. So it's seamless. That's great, Hans. And, and you know, this, this is consistent with the, the trend that I'm noticing here, which is that the solar and batteries, smart panels, th these are no longer stovepipe systems. These are now part of a, a whole integrated home energy system. That home energy system includes solar panels, batteries, EV chargers, and HVAC as well. Now I'm aware that you guys have a new partnership with Mitsubishi where that allows for that, that technical tie-in to where SPAN can control the throttle on your HVAC as well. 
Um, and I could see that being important, not just for, for controlling your consumption or saving money, but you know, also let's say you're running in a, in a grid down situation, you're, you're running on battery backup power, well, maybe you want to throttle the AC down so you can stretch your battery runtime a little bit further. Tell us a little Absolutely. bit about how, how does all this tie together, right? Let's say if we're in a, in a backup situation. Yeah, so I think the, the way that Span looks at solving this sort of intermingling of all these components in the home is through an integrated approach, right? And I think that's kind of what you see is the culmination of all these products coming together, right? Everything is communicating. Everything is constantly like understanding, okay, what is the temperature of the home? Can I... Can I do a little bit of extra heating or extra cooling ahead of time to reach some certain, you know, uh, energy targets? Sort of like you say, you're trying to, you know, match a certain load. If the grid goes down, obviously we can detect that. We can communicate with the Tesla energy gateway and um, shed loads, shed unnecessary loads immediately so that you can ride through the outage with as much of your battery remaining. We're actually able to extend the average battery life of homeowners batteries by up to 40 percent just by controlling the loads and making sure that things that you don't need aren't on making sure that the compressor isn't running too hard not using the, the car charger unless you need it and stuff like that so it's really really meaningful for customers especially if you have a battery that's great can you tell us a little bit more how has the integration between tesla and span changed with the, the release of the new powerwall 3 yeah, so just like the Powerwall 2 and a couple other battery systems, we're you know, fully integrated. The installation process is identical. You connect the two with a, basically an Ethernet connection, and we're able to seamlessly talk. And um, from, the, from the consumer's perspective, it's no different, except they get all the benefits of you know, a Powerwall 3, which has higher output, um, new look, and, and everything yeah. else. I, I've got to say, in terms of the look, aesthetically, these, these products almost look like they were designed by the same designer. <laughs> uh, you know, it just looks like it's all part of the same, same platform, you know, or same, same company if I, if I was, you know, just giving a, a quick glance at it. Yes. Um, so Hans, anything else that the audience should know about uh, the Span Smart Panel? Anything new, new updates for 2024? I don't want to miss the opportunity to say that we've taken, you know, three years of learnings mostly from all of our installer partners and bake them into this product. So, you know, the, the Span 32, which is the, the, the current generation panel that's out today, is, is great and it solves a lot of customer needs and it, it works to, to be installed like a panel. But it's got a couple, we, we were able to make a couple modifications to make this like the most incredible panel to install and as we've we've brought it to our installer partners for you know early access they're just kind of blown away with the flexibility that this platform provides um so i'll just touch on a few of the things so so one of them uh it's long been asked that we actually include knockouts in the panel because today they actually have to go through and drill all sorts of holes for all their um their circuits to exit the panel so now we actually have knockouts in the bottom of the panel and um, the cool thing about the, how the knockouts are designed is this is a NEMA 3R enclosure, right? So it's rated for outdoor use or indoor use. But a lot of times on an indoor panel, you actually need the knockouts out at the top. So that's completely fine. You can actually just flip the enclosure and then the knockouts are where you need them, okay? The other great thing is, you know, these are pretty big, heavy devices, right? And what we want to do is we want to enable a single installer to do the, you know, potentially the inst entire installation process quickly. So what you can actually do is pull out this entire panel board, which contains all the electronics, and set it aside so that as you're doing your work, you're just installing the enclosure. And then you, and then you, you know, you, you'd install the enclosure, you'd punch all your knockouts, and then you'd run all the circuits. And then that's when you're ready to bring in the electronics, which are, you know, they are electronics, so they're a little more sensitive. Sure. And you want to make sure they're protected and not, you know, not getting scuffed up or anything. So that's a really big, great thing. Um, and I think the, the last big thing to touch on here is that this is actually a, it's a modular platform, okay? What that means is <clears throat> you see this, this is almost a bank of eight circuits, right? With the whole panel is just made up of these banks, these eight circuit modules and so ultimately the the contents of this panel and this panel are the same 
it's just in a taller enclosure, mm -hmm. right? But we have all sorts of different modules, not just modules that do, um, that allow you to land conventional circuit breakers, but we have a, a module that actually holds the main breaker, right? So you just have a single switch at the top, and behind that main breaker is an MID, a microgrid interconnection device. So, you know, in future integrations with third party batteries, you could actually remove the need for additional hardware. Separate gateway. Exactly, because everything can just be contained in the, in the one box. Um, and then on the other end of the coin, right, we made a bunch of improvements for homeowners so that they could have a better experience. And one of those is there's actually now LED indication, right, on each breaker so that you can see what the state is. So you can say, oh, what is the, what is the state of this breaker? Is the relay open or closed? And in the future, we'll actually be rolling out software updates to enable even more through these LEDs. So you could actually determine by looking here, you know, if, uh, if an AFCI breaker has tripped, for example, which is going to be a really powerful tool for, for the, the homeowners who are maybe less tech savvy, a little bit afraid of their electrical panel, right? And we, we actually want to make this something that everyone can interact with because, you know, you don't necessarily want to call a service technician for a, like a small job if, if you as a consumer can, can fix it yourself. Sure, sure. That's great. That's great. Well, folks, this has been a look at the new SPAN smart panel uh, and all the different integrations. We've got the Mitsubishi uh, mini split, Tesla Powerwall 3. Uh, folks, by the way, the reason we come to these shows is to make sure that you have the most up-to-date solar product and technology information. So if you're getting good value from videos like this, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, and also go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have more videos from the show coming out, it'll come up on your feed so you can stay up to date with everything. Well, Hans, anything else the audience should know before we sign off? No, thank you so much. It's been really great talking to you. Yeah, thanks for chatting with us. Yeah. Folks, that does it for today's video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.